Um, first, I'd like to thank West Virginia for hosting uh, this round of the tournament, these two rounds. Um, it's a great facility, great place to play. We found the field to be awesome, and uh, it's, it's always nice to play at a nice, on a nice pitch in a great atmosphere. Um, as far as the game goes, um, Nebraska is a really good opponent. <laughs> They're very organized defensively. We knew they were going to make it hard for us uh, by doing some things we haven't seen necessarily uh, this year. Um, and they they came out with the game plan and executed it well. I think us scoring early um, was was really huge, making them maybe come out a little bit more to defend higher up the field. And um, our possession, I think, um, showed um, some really good quality throughout the throughout the match, and um, we were able to break them down um, in certain aspects. Um, still, still wish we could have been more dangerous at times and finished another one earlier. But then getting the one with three minutes to go, uh, that's us breathe a little easier on the sideline for sure. Uh, but I think it was a, a quality game uh, for a second round game. As you'll see all over the country, there's some really good games going on today, um, and there's there's no easy nothing easy from here on out. I thought your wide play was really effective. Is that something that you kind of focused on leading into this game? We have been. Uh, we we kind of changed things up a few weeks ago because we weren't getting enough width in our attack, and we decided to play with wingers instead of a two front. And I think it's it's worked well for us. We've been effective. Certain players have really stepped up. You see Sunny Dumphy um, playing Zoe Gorowski higher. Um, she's been really effective getting getting the assist there. Actually, that was when she was playing. I had pushed her back to right back at that point of the game. But um, I think we are showing different dimensions. And uh, Jesse playing as the as the nine coming back into the midfield and uh, players running off of her it's just very hard to defend uh, but we uh, have showed that we can we can get in line we can be really dangerous on the flanks Jesse on the second goal you kind of held things up a little bit and allowed that overall up on the right side kind of take me through what you saw on that play um yeah I think we just kind of got it on the counter and then um, took advantage of their back line having stepped and um, so we got forward quickly so I think it just saw the space and trusted that the fullback was going to get high for that one and then it was a great ball into Amber. Their keeper was way out. Did you look <laughs> up at any point and think oh I might hit a six yarder here and try to chip her? Yeah I think it was something we were kind of conscious of going into the game. Um, I think I tried once in the first half but I shanked it so um, <laughs> probably probably could have gone a bit better but um, I think we were aware of it but we didn't take advantage of it. Any take me through your first goal? Um, Honestly, I don't really even remember, but um, I think I've, we were, we found Zoe wide, which is, like Amanda said, something we've been really focusing on is recreating that width. And she actually found me again down the line, and I saw, was it you, Jess? I think you crossed it to me. Yeah, crossed it to Jess, Sunny deflections. Uh, Sonny and Jesse kept scrapping, fighting for it, and then shot opened up, so I took it. Because you don't know who you're playing yet, so kind of give me thoughts on both teams and kind of initial impressions of them. Yeah, sure. Um, obviously, West Virginia has been one of the number one teams all year, so we know a little bit more about them. I've seen them a few times, and obviously we have video on both teams, but West Virginia's a uh, very good a athletic team. They um, offer some challenges that some other teams, quite frankly, don't. Um, they have some Canadians. That'll be kind of fun to have that, you know, that, that mix in there too um you know it's it's always fun i'm sure for jess to play against some of her friends and some of her uh, teammates from canada and they um you know i saw them play in the conference final against tcu they were down two goals and came back and tied it up and ended up winning in overtime so they're a, a relentless team um very persistent and great quality all over the field. Um, Ohio State, honestly, I haven't seen them play this year yet, but we do have video. Uh, but I know the coach very well. Lori Walker uh, organizes her team really well. They're gonna, they're gonna be ready to play um, no matter who the opponents. And uh, they, they're, they're always gonna be a team that executes their game plan very well. Kind of a broader question that I asked Susan Brown as well. How have, how's the Canadian game kind of affected the American college game of the last 15 or 20 years. A lot. I mean, all four teams in this bracket have Canadians that have played for them or have impacted them in the past. I think um, obviously you start back in the day with Sinclair at Portland and uh, some of those players. 
Um, they've always come in and added um, so much to the teams as far as a level of sophistication. They bring something different because they're not necessarily trained the same way or, or tactically uh, told the same things all the time. You know, you see some of our, our youth players um, can maybe come from the same kind of uh, philosophies. And it's always fun to get a player um, that has interna international experience, one, whether it's youth youth national teams or full teams, uh, because they see some the game differently sometimes. And I think the Canadians have added so much much to the college game and um, it's definitely definitely fun uh, I've, I've coached some previously when I was at the University of Central Florida and um, I always find that they also are a little bit some of them uh, if they don't have the youth or the national team experience they may be underrated they don't they don't necessarily know the quality and the, they're very skillful they're very sophisticated players